Today we have this iPhone 13 Pro Max from New Jersey. According to the customer, it is not displaying an image. The phone's screen has been replaced multiple times to no avail. As we bench test it, we press the buttons and hear Siri respond. Slide one finger up from the bottom of the screen to set up. It seems like it may be on the activation menu. If we are not able to fix this device, the customer is going to have to lose a whopping $1,000. What we will do first is use this machine to remove the phone's screen from the housing. With the suction cup and heat, we safely remove the screen without causing any damage. Now, we disconnect the screen and go directly to the microscope to inspect the connector where the screen connects to the motherboard. We compare the diagram with the customer's connector and realize that this pin is grounded. It is giving us zero on diode mode on our multimeter. Zero equals ground. According to the diagram, it should not be grounded. After tracing the pins line, we find that the line runs from the connector to the flip side on the upper board. In this case, we need to separate the motherboard. We remove the motherboard from the housing and place it in the preheater at 220 degrees Celsius. Then we apply solder paste to the motherboard. When the solder melts, it means that the board has reached the necessary temperature for separation. Now that it's separated, we go back to the diagram and locate that specific circuit. As you can see, the line that is shorted has three circuits, which are the U9100 and two separate capacitors. Since there are no schematics available for the iPhone 13 Pro Max, we have to do some research. When we search for the U9100 circuit part number on Google, we find a data sheet for the IC, and we find out that it is the Display Power Management IC. One of the features of this particular IC is an integrated boost converter. The boost converter takes a lower input voltage and boosts it to a higher output voltage. For example, it can take 4.5 volts and convert them into 7.7 .7 volts. Interesting! Now since one of the lines of the U9100 is shorted to ground, it is preventing its functionality. For this reason, the screen is not receiving the required voltages to display an image. Now let's remove U9100 to see if the short is gone. We check one more time and it is still shorted. Next, we will try to remove capacitor C11145. However, we still have a short. The saying third times the charm applies here. We remove C11144 and voila, the short is completely gone. As you can see, when we test this capacitor, we see that it has continuity when the multimeter makes a beep sound. A good capacitor should not have continuity from side to side. So this was the shorted capacitor. Next, we need to obtain capacitors from a donor phone and reball the IC. Did you know that at Cell Phone Repair Academy, we offer courses that cover everything from the basics to advanced techniques, so you can learn how to fix your phone yourself. Visit our website at cellphonerepairacademy.com to learn more. After that, we clean the lower and upper motherboards and reball the lower motherboard. Now, we solder the two boards together with the preheater at 200 degrees Celsius. Then, we place the motherboard back in the housing and check if we are getting an image. As you can see, this repair has been a success. Thank you for watching.